of those is by a shell casing. Gives you an idea how many rounds are fired. Police say in that alleyway, the white vehicle pulls up. Three men get out, and they start firing at will, blasting. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Quando Rondo. Now, it seems that Quando Rondo was reportedly shot, man. And this is breaking news like no other, man. Now, it, there's several reports out there that talk about the situation or the incident that might have took place. But a lot of people are trying to figure out if this has anything to do with OTF, their situation that they've been going through or anything like that. Because remember, Quando Rondo's homeboy, Lil Tim, is the guy who shot and killed King Von, man, allegedly. You know what I mean? But what's crazy is Quando Rondo being shot and somebody else being killed and his friend is reportedly not Lil Tim. So, you know, it, it might be something that went down in their home state or in their hometown where they got their own ops there. But man, we'll get to the story and talk about the specifics. Now, before we do so, though, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Quando Rondo and his homeboy Lil Pab. It looks like Quando Rondo was the victim of a shooting, man. An ambush-style shooting that took place in Los Angeles, right? Now, let's check out this news story from the scene of what went down. Now, in the news story, he talks about the fact that an Atlanta rapper got shot, but Quando Rondo ain't from Atlanta. He's from Savannah, and we know that. But a lot of people confuse that. But, man, let's check out this clip. And a wild scene here as investigators say the apparent target of this deadly gunfire, a rapper from the Atlanta area. They say a pretty well-known rapper, too, in this area along with a second person in his black Cadillac Escalade. May have been a relative, may have been a member of his entourage, we don't know, but it's that second person, not the rapper, but the second person who was hit by gunfire dies from the gunfire. Let's get right into it. Mike, you'll give you a look. The gas station here, this is right across the street from the busy Beverly Center on La Cienica. See all that broken glass there? That's where the Escalade is parked. They're getting gas when all of a sudden the windows are blown out by gunfire. They're under attack by bullets flying all over the place. To the left, Mike, you'll give you a look. See all those white evidence markers on the ground? Each one of those is by a shell casing gives you an idea how many rounds are fired police say in that alleyway the white vehicle pulls up three men get out and they start firing at will blasting away targeting that black suv the rapper and his second person inside up top sky fox a better look at this area so you can imagine the chaos here it's right across the street caddy corner from the busy beverly center but now, in that video, you saw that it was a crazy scene, man. The reporter said that the people in the Black Escalade were an Atlanta rapper and his crew, and they were talking about Quando Rondo. So what's crazy is, in other reports, it was said that Quando Rondo and his crew pulled up to that gas station in a Black Escalade, where a white car pulled up by them, three shooters jumped out, and started to empty out the clips on that car, man. This is a wild story, man. Now, a lot of rumors are circulating on social media, obviously because of all the drama that's taken place the last two and a half years with the King Von situation. But nobody is saying anything on social media that would indicate this had anything to do with any of that. But man, the fact that they were out of town and maybe they might have got into it with somebody, you don't know. And LA is a wild place right now. So this could be something totally outside of what we think it is. You know what I'm saying? This might be anything. And you can't forget what Quando Rondo claims and where he says he's from. You know what I'm saying? Him and Lil' Tim, they both wear that badge. You feel me? Now, what's crazy and probably sad about this situation is the fact that one of Quando Rondo's homeboys died, man. A guy by the name of Lil' Pab according to these reports out there. So let's talk about this news story from hiphopvibe.com. Now, in the headline of the story, it says this. It says, Quando Rondo has allegedly been shot and is in stable condition. Friend was also reportedly shot, but died from injuries. So that lets you know that Quando Rondo actually might make it out of this situation, all right? But his friend... You know, unluckily, man, dude passed away, man. So rest in peace to him, man. They're saying that's his homeboy, Lil' Pab. Now, the story goes on to say this. It says, over the past two and a half years, Quando Rondo has been one of Georgia's hottest rising rappers. He's not from Atlanta, as many rappers from the state are. Instead, Rondo is from Savannah in the southern region of the state. Now, for those of you who don't know the geography of Georgia, Savannah is way at the bottom of the state. You know what I mean? On the coast. And then you have Atlanta 
kind of towards the upper middle of the state. You know what I'm saying? You know, so a lot of people confuse that. Even in the news story, they confuse that because Atlanta's the most known market for hip hop artists and rap. But Quando Rano is definitely from Savannah, so is Lil Tim, and so so is his homeboy Lil Pab, I believe, man. Now, fans of Rondo have been very concerned on social media on Friday night, though, as he is said to have been shot in Georgia. Reports online state that he is in stable condition, though. Now, the shooting that I heard about actually took place in L.A. It sounds like they was out in L.A., you know, probably just doing some work maybe hitting the studio, meeting up with some people, making their connects, and then that's where it took place, like outside of the Beverly Center, right? Or near the Beverly Center. All right, so the story continues by saying this. It says Rondo was also said to be with his friend, Lil Pab. Pab is unfortunately said to have been shot and killed on the scene. As many remember, Rondo got into a fight with King Von back in November of 2020 in Atlanta, which ultimately resulted in Von being killed Rondo claimed self-defense in that incident as Lil' Tim was the one who ended up pulling the trigger on Vine. Now, I'm not too sure where we're at right now with the Lil' Tim case. It seems like it's in limbo and they're waiting to bring it to trial, but I mean, he's going to probably get off maybe for self-defense because Quando Rondo got off for self-defense and a lot of people are feeling that way about Lil' Tim in that situation, even though it was a fist fight and he ended up pulling out the gun or whatnot, man, on a crowd of people. You see what I'm saying? Now, obviously, based on all of that, that took place. And that was like a huge moment in hip hop, to be real. People have been wondering what in the world is going to happen going on in the future. You always see comments or or people leaving comments in chat sections and things like that saying slide for Vaughn, slide for Vaughn. But man, it I don't know if Lil Dark had anything to do with this. You know, the fact that it was reportedly happened in L.A., and then there's other reports saying that maybe it happened in Georgia. You know, you don't know what the what the deal is with this. So I wouldn't be too soon to jump on that, man, and paint somebody as the shooter or the person who orchestrated this. You feel me? Now, according to several reports out there, man, it looks like LAPD is on the job and they're trying to get to the bottom of what actually happened and confirm who the victim was. They actually, one of the, the representatives from the police department said that he can't officially confirm because next to Ken haven't been notified. But the rumor is it was Lil Pab, Quando Rondo's homeboy who lost his life. And Quando Rondo is fighting for his life in the hospital as we speak, man. Now, hopefully, you know, Quando Rondo pulls through and things are all right for him, you know what I mean, and his family. And, you know, rest in peace to Lil' Pab. And this is a wild story, man. L.A. is a wild place, so you don't know exactly what went down. You don't know exactly what led to this being done. So, man, before we jump the gun, let's wait for all the, the details to come out in this situation, I say. But what do y'all think, man? Do y'all think that Lil' Dirk and them had something to do with this? Or do you think this is L.A.? So this is a wild incident that can happen for anybody, man, because L.A. has kind of been turned up the last couple of years, to be real with you. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.